Hi guys, and we're going to get 2022 off to a scorcher with an absolutely astonishing figure from the amazing guys at Storm Collectibles, and that is dun 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 Axel Stone from Streets of Rage 4. The only concession is like this part here was ripped, but he says it actually arrived in the shipping crate like that. So, I mean, Streets of Rage 4 was one of my favourite games when it came out. That's how you bring a game back out when you do Streets of Rage 4. And yes, guys, there is lots of reflections, but I will be opening this one as well. So until then, let's have a try and look through look through the glary boxes and hide the dust at the top because whew, dust. He has multiple hands, and the scalp is just stunning. Bottle, broken bottle. You have to be 17 plus to buy this or to watch the channel. Not and. Uh, yeah, you know, my only thing is I really, really was wishing there was a blaze as well, but unfortunately, there isn't. Come on, Storm. We know you only like to normally do the main guys, but you've got to give us blaze. Ah, here we go. Streets of Rage, 17 and up. Not English. Morning. Choking has its small parts, not suitable for under three years. And then we have a look at the back. Oh, we should have a look at the top first. And there's a top, pretty cool, um, see down transparent streets of Rage 4. I did kind of like a sellotape this back together and tried to glue it and seal it up, but it wouldn't have none of it. But we're on the back, there we go. Axel Stone, and um, yes, many different heads, many different poses. Storm Collectibles. Production Storm Collectibles, Licensee, Mask Away Limited. Mask! Give us Mask! Then a commercial building, manufactured by Mask Away Limited. Uh, yes, is Soy Street, no, 15 Soy Street, Mong Kong, Hong Kong. And the barcode for you people that are interested. But let's not waste any more time and let's dig into the delight that is Axel from Streets of Rage 4. Right, so one really cool thing I did notice about this is the insides. So like, take out, take it out, take it out. Let me try and like put this in the background and display it like so. And then we have look that scene. Or we have that scene. I mean, is that not cool? Or is that very very cool? And. Uh, Let's have a look at the figure itself. It's one of the overlay boxes. So here we go. I'm trying to get. I mean, there's tons to this figure. Oh, hang on, that bit comes off separately. All right, so that's going to be his flamey bat bits. So um, yes, and what a way to start 2022! An amazing figure. Right. <laughs> so there is loads. Um, piece of plastic covering his head. And let's just go for the meat and get <laughs> the meat out. So I remember when I first saw the trailer for this, I was like, what have they done to Axel? Have they made him fat? No, they've just kind of like made him a wow. Now <laughs> that is how you do a sculpt. Got dots everywhere. But uh, that's because I haven't actually put this out properly. And I only had a quick look. Look, he's got the bum cover up on. I've not got a big bum. That's not why I'm wearing this at all. And he's got the adjustable front parts of the feet so you can get him to be stable. He's all... Move in and you can do, ah, oh, I mean look at that jacket, look at the, the rip detail there, that is awesome, look he got his ear, which is strange because nearly all humans have ears, and that's how he changes, so uh, let's have a gander at the bits we have in the box, we have a boomerang, The knife that we know any axle can hold because Blaze throws it. The meat cleaver. Stunning detail. The Raphael Psy because he only stole one of him. Um, <laughs> one of Leonardo's samurai swords. Yes, I am being sarcastic. They're not actually his swords. But that would be a good game. Put axle in the. Um, Tur turtles side scroll, but it's probably done that in one of the Beats of Rage engines. And the bottle, no logo or anything. It's pretty cool, it's actually got some weight to it. 
we have the broken bottle. E, 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 uh. Alright, so let's have a look down here. We have hand number one, which is open hand. And let's do the different facial expressions. We have concerned Axel. Tell you what, I actually prefer that face to that one. Let's have a look at the other face. We have Roaring Axel. Mm, I like this one, so let's put this on him. Right, so um, I think we take his hair off first, which is exactly how I do it. <laughs> then we just pop that off. And then we pop the... Oh, that is so much better. Or have I pushed it down too far? Oh, there we go. That is much cool. I actually definitely prefer that one. And you are going to be retired. Um, if I can get your two payback on this, have a ganders. Oh, there we go. To there. And we have, um, obviously, different like fringes. That is pretty much exactly the same as that. They got different fringes as well. And, uh, that is cool. I mean, I know it would be better, but so I'll look at the way the, the look at the way the actual neck and everything moves. It's like you know the Marvel superheroes muscle suits. I mean, that is it's obviously like a rubbery texture. That is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely awesome. Um, pop that bit out of the way. And now let's have a look at this part, which, by the way, it is you can see has never actually been out so well no no because it again has a top part so that one goes there that one goes there so uh we has a big sword which of course uh, goes on the end of this hmm it does go on in all right it goes there that's huge look at that that is massive. That is really, really fucking cool. Then we have the baseball bat. It's got like a rubbery grip, but that's pretty solid. And then we have um, the fire bit, and where he's doing his super moves. So let's just consult the box and have a ganders. Right, so let's see if we can do some of these, shall we? So I'm not going to change his hands, but let's have a look. Right, so this one, that's like a scary face. Um, goes on, all oh, right, I see. Basically just clips over his hand, and it's when he's doing the... Oh, no. That pose there, that's a reason with the muscle out. There we go. That is really cool. All right, so that's that one. If we can take it off without taking his hand off. Hmm. That looks tasty. <laughs> Did you pick my nose? Uh, don't actually know. <laughs> um. Da -da. No. No. Don't know where it goes or it has a place. But then we have this one, which is. Hand goes. Oh, right. It's for one of the open hands. And then it's kind of like when he's doing that pose there. Yeah, can you see it? It's that one there. It is. But um, that is much, much awesomeness. I think that has got to be... Ah, please. <laughs> Trying to get a figure to stand on the sofa. Impossible. But I should persevere while I'm talking. Persevere. There we go. That's got to be one of my favourite collectibles ever. Please, please give us a blaze to go with this. And some of the weapons as well. I mean, just give it a scale. Look, it's huge. And you get like that. You get the baseball bat. The meat cleaver. Uh, the sai. The samurai sword. The unbroken bottle. The broken bottle. The boomerang. And the knife. And this is just too huge for me to put anyway. But uh, there we go. What a way to start 2022 with an absolutely amazing figure from Storm Collectibles. From an absolutely amazing game, which is available on all the consoles. 
I highly recommend any old school gamers or even new school gamers to go out and get this game as soon as possible because it's absolutely fantastic even better with mates even better with multiplayer online and with the recent update um, Mr. X Battle Arena whatever it is adds more characters and adds like a um, survival mode which is absolutely fantastic adds tons and tons and tons of more playability to the game I can't praise that game enough it blew away all my expectations come on guys Golden Axe 4 we need next <laughs> you guys that did Streets of Rage 4 you need to do Golden Axe 4 but yeah, so, is there any other way we could end this video as he hides what he's going to do than with the traditional... <sighs>